Northgate is a key gateway into Darlington Town Centre with some incredible historic buildings and stories. But over the years, it has been neglected. So it's really exciting to hear the progress is being made uh, in the run-up to the 2025 bicentenary of the Stockton and Darlington Railway. Now, probably one of the most unlikely stories on Northgate is the story of Bulmer Stone, which is just over there. It is an erratic porphyry. Uh, erratic because it hitched a ride at the bottom of a glacier uh, 10,000 years ago, started our life up on Shat Fell, uh, came down on the glacier, bumped along as it went, rolling it nice and smooth, uh, and where the glacier melted, it fell to earth and is probably the oldest thing that we know of surviving in Darlington Town Centre. It's called Boomer Stone because uh, a, a, a chap called Willie Boomer would read the latest news to the people of Darlington from standing on top of the stone. We've come about 500 yards down Northgate from Bulmer's Stone to the Skern Bridge, which is the world's oldest continuously used railway bridge. And not only is it the world's con uh, oldest continuously operated railway bridge, it is the world's first railway bridge to have been designed by a proper architect. So it has many, many claims to fame, including that it was on the back of the five pound note during the 1990s. So many people still know it as the five pound note bridge. The Pises were the front men for the Stockton Darlington Railway, um, but in the background were their fellow Quakers, the Backhouse family, who were bankers. Their bank was founded here in Darlington in the 1770s, and it became one of the major parts of Barclays Bank. And they effectively bankrolled the Stockton and Darlington Railway. And they are just as important to the townscape of Darlington as the Pises. In fact, we're standing here on Northgate, at the rear of a Backhouse mansion. Here, the Backhouses had wonderful gardens that were spread out and all of that has now been converted into North Lodge Park. The park has recently celebrated its 119th birthday and Yvonne Richardson here helped organise the celebrations. So you're on the Towns Fund board, yeah. uh, you represent the Northgate area yes. on that. What are you hoping will happen to Pease's house? Oh, Pease's house, well I hope it will celebrate the history and, and it will amplify social history parts of the Railway Museum. The um, 2025 celebrations in the Railway Museum will, will be about trains, but uh, what I'm really interested in is how that affected everybody. I would hope that Pease's House can be some kind of centre for people new to the area or people, visitors, to um, see how it affected people.